Tim, who has the best chance to make the playoffs, Winnipeg or Vancouver? Or Edmonton, for that matter. Are you throwing or Edmonton Dallas. into that mix? Throw them all in. Pretty bunched up. So what's your question? Well, let's, let's stick with Winnipeg and Vancouver. Okay. So Winnip being. Winnipeg and Vancouver, if you go by what this show often goes by as a kind of sort of tongue-in-cheek joke, tongue-in-cheek joke, careful with that, McAuliffe, because <laughs> you might say something that could get you fired. A tongue-in-cheek joke. Mm. Poff. The Poff right now is not good for either of those yeah, teams. You don't like Poff much. The Jets uh, improved last night, 3.1%. They are now at 15.5%. And the Vancouver Canucks are at 8.9%. But here is what Poff doesn't take into consideration. The Vegas Golden Knights free fall right now is jaw-droppingly amazing. Mm -hmm. Like, I don't know if I've seen this before, and apparently we're getting word as we speak that the Dadanoff trade has been null and voided, so he is not going anywhere, whether or not he can play this year, because there were some rumors that if it was null and void, that he wouldn't be able to play as well. And this poor guy did nothing wrong, and he may be punished. We'll figure out by the end of the show whether or not he can play. But that is, it's jaw-dropping. And once you jump that spot, if Vegas continues this free fall, then those numbers go up exponentially. Mm -hmm. The thing that gives both the Jets and the Canucks a chance is their goaltending. And listen, Connor Hellebuck last night, 42 saves for his fourth shutout of the season. I'm not saying that Connor Hellebuck is going to get back to Vesna form, but I also never say it's just on the goalie. Like, I think his team has let him down, and he hasn't played as well as we've seen him play in the past. But if he gets on a run, or Thatcher Demko gets on a run, both of those teams can make the playoffs. Will they? Probably not. <laughs> Probably not. But I think they can both make the playoffs, and that last night was as close to a must-win for Hellebuck and company as you can get without for it sure. actually being a must-win. And they did it twice against Vegas in basically the last week. So good on them. They've kept hope alive in Winnipeg and by virtue, Vancouver as well. Uh, but a, a tough loss for the Edmonton Oilers last night who, I mean, you threw them in the mix. They could have got a couple more points clear if they just had to held on to another lead. Yeah, Yamamoto and, and Kane score again. I will say about uh, Connor Hellebuck, which I think is, is really intriguing, is that uh, in the month of March prior to uh, last night's shutout, like he hadn't been playing that well. His goals against average was well over three, uh, but the team was still 6-3-1. and one. So if he can actually capture that form that he had last night and get on a little bit of run, then all systems go for the Jets. And many people thought they were going to be really good this year. And if a lot of the, the issues with him have been Connor Hellebuck, but if he can put it together, then they can all get it going and move forward here. Yeah, but that's almost... All I mean, goalies? Listen, no, no, that's almost... The exact opposite of what I said. Like, I, his save percentage this year is 12. Yeah. Right? Like, it's not terrible. It's not hella buck like, but it's not terrible. I think that his team has let him down. That's why the goals against are tied for 17th in the mm -hmm. league. Right? Like, when you have, a, it's not a huge discrepancy, but it's a little discrepancy. And I think that's team defense. And so, yes, hella buck looked great last night, and he hasn't looked great all year long but I mean you get them up to some of those previous year numbers and and they got a shot but yeah. I just I think it's more about the entire team helping them out a little bit more because you don't just go from Vesna trophy winner to average goalie no that doesn't happen